once again. In this lesson, you will be introduced to test 13 to test 15 of paper 2 of the 2020 O-Level paper. So far, we have already discussed test 9 to test 12 of this same paper in a previous lesson. Similarly, we have also completed discussions for paper 1. Remember, the overall mark that you will get for this paper is 60. Let's start this session by looking at test 13. You are asked to read the following stories of films and match them with the type of film the five students love to see. You are asked to write the correct letter of the film in the table given. Write the correct letter of the description in the box. Before reading the text, it would help to quickly go through the comments given by Kasuni, Naveen, Prabodha, Chenumi and Shanara on what films they like to watch. This will help you to skim and scan for the information thereafter easily. If you would like to know what skimming and scanning is and how to hone this skill, do look at our previous lessons on it. Kasuni, I love to see films about animals. I like stories where animals act along with other people, just like human beings. Navi, I love to see cartoon films, but I do not like cartoons about heroes or human characters. Prabodha, I like to see films based on real characters. Such films allow us to learn how people succeed in overcoming hardships. Chenumi, to see the beauty of nature is what I like most. That's why I like films on nature. Shanara, we learn about world wars at school but haven't seen one. Films on war give us that chance. That's why I like war movies. Let's read the descriptions of the films now. Film A, 12 Years a Slave. This is a true story of a free black man called Solomon from New York who is abducted and sold into slavery. In the 12th year of his captivity with a Canadian, Solomon manages to escape from the cruel slave owner. Film B, Virunga. The film is named after the Virunga National Park in Congo. It not only captures the wildlife in the national park with particular focus on gorillas, but also the dedication of teams aiming to protect it. Film C. The Bridge on the River Kwai. British war prisoners are forced to build a railway bridge across the River Kwai for their Japanese captors, not knowing that their own forces are planning to destroy it. Film D, A Tale of Marie and Three Puppies. This story is about Aya's dog, Marie, and her puppies have gone through after an earthquake that strikes Japan. Going through a lot of hardships, Aya manages to save her dog and puppies. Film E, The Blue Elephant. This is a cartoon movie about a young elephant that lives in a forest. It thinks about its lost father, whom it has never met. Leaving the forest in search of its father, it finds real friends and becomes a brave elephant that has a gentle heart. Now that we have read the descriptions, let's complete the task and match them with what the students have commented about which film they like. Kasuni. I love to see films about animals. I like stories where animals act along with other people, just like human beings. D is the answer. Navi, I love to see cartoon films, but I do not like cartoons about heroes or human characters. E is your answer. Prabodha, I like to see films based on real characters, such as such films allow us to learn how people succeed in overcoming hardships. A is your answer. Chenumi, to see the beauty of nature is what I like most. That's why I like films on nature. B 
is your answer. Shannara, we learn about world wars at school, but haven't seen one. Films on war give us that chance. That's why I like war movies. C is the answer. Now let's look at test 14. For this section, you will be earning 10 marks. Always look at the marks you will be getting for each test and remember to spend more time on the ones that carry more marks. You have two options given in this section. You can choose one. Please don't waste your time doing both. Choose one and do it properly. The first option is a letter. Let's read the question together. Write a letter to one of your friends who is studying in a foreign country. Describe the plans for your future education. Use about 100 words. You are also asked to include these points. Always look at the guidelines given. You can that way write a paragraph on each if you like. If you want to learn about paragraph writing, you can watch a previous lesson on it. Let's read the guidelines. Above the advanced level examination, reasons for your choices, any other plans, subjects you would select, your ambitions. Let's do it together. 25th May 2021. Dear Anagi, how are you keeping? I hope it's not too cold over there. How is university life? We miss you here in Sri Lanka. Now that I have finished my O-level examination, I am now thinking about what I will be doing for my A-levels. I have decided to do art subjects. I really want to become a teacher of English literature and I feel that the subjects I have chosen will help me achieve my dream. I have decided to do English literature, economics and French. I feel that this is a good combination and my parents are also thrilled that I wish to do these subjects. I enjoy reading and writing poetry so English literature will develop my talents. I decided on French because I would love to travel someday and learning a foreign language will help me understand the culture of the country too. Economics is an excellent subject too and I feel that it will give me analytical and problem-solving skills. For example, in business planning, marketing research and management. I will also be able to analyze my own spending habits too. I hope you are doing well over there. Please do write soon. I would love to hear from about your university life. From your friend, Amali. You would have noticed that I have used all the guidelines given. If you don't like to write the letter, you have the option of choosing B. In this question, you are presented with a bar graph. You can look at some of our previous lessons to get an idea on how to tackle questions based on graphs, charts and tables. Let's read the question together. The following bar graph shows extra activities done by grade 10 students of Vidya Loka Vidyalaya to improve their English language skills. Write a description about it. You are also expected to write 100 words and use these words in your description. Most, equal, least, more, popular, less than, less popular. Let's do it together. The bar graph indicates all the extra activities done by grade 10 students of Vidya Loka Vidyalaya to improve their English language skills. The activities that are carried out by school are watching films, taking part in competitions, reading storybooks, singing songs and making diary entries. Based on student participation, watching films is the most popular activity that is conducted. Contrastingly, the least popular activity is making diary entries. There are just 10 students who have shown interest in that activity. Taking part in competitions 
are seemingly more popular than making diary entries. An equal number of students have shown interest in singing songs and reading storybooks. Both these activities are less popular than watching films. Note that in this answer, I have used all the phrases that were given. Always refer to guidelines and points given in your question. Let's now move on to test 15. You are given a small description of sea otters. This is a comprehension passage and unlike the shorter comprehension passages done in paper, one, this carries eight marks. Let's read the passage together. Life of sea otters. The relationship between a mother and her pup shows the most intimate association in a sea otter's life. The adult male provides no parental care, which is typical for most mammals. However, a female sea otter spends a great deal of time and energy in caring for her offspring, which depend on her for nourishment and protection. A mother and her pup are never far apart during the entire time. A pup spends most of its time riding on its mother's belly. Even very large pups, six months or older, may still try to climb on board. You can't help but feel sorry for a mother struggling to paddle with a pup nearly her own size riding on her stomach. A mother's protective behavior towards her offspring is obvious to anyone. Scientists have made interesting observations on mothers and pups' behavior. One mother was found fondling the dead body of a pup and attempting to groom the dead body. In Monterey Harbor, one female who had just lost her pup was seen mothering a plastic bottle, holding it under her chin and fondling it as if it were her pup. One brave mother actually climbed into a boat to rescue her large pup. While being attentive to their own young, females rarely care for another mother's pup, probably in part because there's little chance that a mother who has lost her own pup will encounter an orphan. A pup gets most of its nourishments by nursing from its mother for the first two months of its life. Although the mother continues to suckle her pup throughout the dependency period, the pup gradually adds more solid food to its diet. A female's two nipples are often visible on her lower abdomen when she is producing milk. Like other marine mammals, sea otters produce milk that's extremely rich in protein and fat and low in lactose or milk sugar. That was rather interesting, wasn't it? You are asked to indicate whether the sentences given are true or false as your first task. This will require you to skim and scan for answers. The first one is very straightforward and the answer is given in the first paragraph. Only female otters provide parental care. This is true because we are told that the adult male provides no parental care. The second one is pups leave their parents when they are six months old. This is false as we are not given any information of when the pup leaves its parents. The third is a female otter is very unlikely to care for another mother's pup. This is true. Look at the fourth paragraph. We are told that females rarely care for another mother's pup. And finally, the fourth statement is that sea otter's milk does not contain lactose. This is false, as in the last paragraph, we are told that it is low in lactose. This does not mean that it does not have lactose altogether. Now let's look at task two. Underline the phrase that is closest in meaning to the following, offspring in paragraph one. The answers are female otters, male otters, Baby otters, adult otters. Baby otters is the answer. Offspring means the young of a person or animal. The second word is encounter. Encounter in paragraph four. Ignore, dislike, meet, look after. The answer is 
meat. The next question asks you to write a word in paragraph 2 that has a similar meaning to whole. The answer is entire. In the fourth question, you are expected to state what the words given refer to. The first one is her, but that means mother. It means the pup. For this question, you really have to read the line and get an idea. Question 5 expects you to underline the correct answer. Let's read it together. Which of the following provides an example to show a mother otter's caring nature? Underline the answer. One brave mother climbed into a boat to rescue her large pup. A mother's protective behavior towards her offspring is obvious to anyone. And the third one is, scientists have more interesting observations on mothers and pups. The first one is your answer. The other sentences are not examples and they don't really address the mother otter's caring nature. In the sixth and final question of the section you are asked to study, the four subheadings given. Underline the most suitable subheading for paragraph 4. The first one is the role of female sea otters. Number two, the art of feeding the pups. Number three, nutritional value of sea otter milk. And four is features of the body of the sea otter. The correct answer is the role of female otters. The paragraph is not about any of the other subheadings given. That brings an end to this session on your paper two of the 2020 O-Level paper. The next session will discuss test 16, which is essay writing and composition. If you found this useful and you want to be alerted on many more lessons on your O-Level English syllabus, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.